in today's episode we are going to check the new flip card or the new project card. i'm not really sure yet um, we are going to test for the first time if the top will work because i have no idea if the top will work uh, i hope it's going to work because it's winter time it's cold and it was raining the whole uh, weekend yeah and uh, if it's not <laughs> going to work or is, if it's going to remain stuck we are have we are uh, having a few problems yeah anyway um we are going to see everything that's wrong with the car if it's working or it's not working and um, maybe we can fix something in this episode so yeah no more talking let's start the video this is it yeah this is the new project flip car i'm not sure what this is the Peugeot, so, uh, so, <laughs> I want to say in, in German, 206 cc, yeah? coupe cab cabriolet or cabrio. We have a parking sensor in the front. We have some uh, difference in the panels of the, for the color, yeah. Uh, winter tires with um, steelies, yeah, <laughs> steel wheels with uh, caps. Everything seems to be just fine in here. Um, a scratch in here, parking sensor in the back, tow hook, we have a dent in here and I see something in here, yeah, okay, on this side we have a little bit of rust in here, but just a little bit, and other than that I think it's straight, oh, a scratch in there, and I think I, I've missed uh, this um, rust on this side, yeah? So on both sides we have a little bit of rust in here. On the inside everything is basic, yeah? Basic dash, uh, steering wheel, uh, we have some uh, controls for the radio and stuff like that, but are not working because uh, we have a different radio. The interior is green as well as the exterior. And I think now it's time to uh, test if the roof will go off, yeah? Let's see, I think first we have to remove these latches. Okay, that's one. That's the second one. I'm not, re I'm not sure if I have to have the engine on or off, but I'm going to start the car in order to see Okay, the car starts perfect, no problems at all. Handbrake, and this is the the button for the for the top. Oh, first, let's check if we have something in the trunk because I'm pretty sure that. Oh, it's closed. Huh. I have to take the key out now because I'm pretty sure that the roof will go here in the trunk oh my god okay so let's take everything out i'm not sure how deep the roof will come in here okay just a second yep yeah i'm pretty sure this one can remain in here other than that everything seems to be free and uh, I hope everything will work let's close the trunk now okay now it's closed um, I'm going to set the camera and we are going to try to remove the roof So nothing happened yet because when you try to put the top down we have some noises but no info. Nothing. Okay nothing. 
maybe this has something to do with the airbag light we are going to try to fix that and after that we are going to test again the roof okay let's put everything back on the road now with the Peugeot we noticed that the steering wheel is uh, it isn't straight yeah uh, we have of course that airbag light but other than that nothing yeah and it's flickering just on the camera on the real life it's staying in there yeah we have heat um, the windows works both uh, we don't have uh, any strange noises we have brakes everything seems to be just fine yeah but we are going to check the airbag light and we are going to try to wire properly uh, properly this radio because uh, it doesn't work correctly yeah and the, the radio doesn't have any signal uh, we have some um, some type of uh, computer yeah you can see how many kilometers the consumption and uh, stuff like that okay the lights work everything seems to be just fine we just have to make an alignment um, we have to figure out what's wrong with the airbag the radio and pretty much that's about it yeah and these are the faults for um, the airbag light yeah we have the driver um, uh, I squib I'm first circuit I open circuit so that's a present code yeah that's why we have the light and the passenger airbag disconnected it's intermittent because it was sometimes off for sure from here we are going to try to just erase something all codes will be erased okay and it's back see that let's start the car yeah it's back so let's read again yeah open circuit let's see if we can uh, scan the hardtop uh, the roof uh, module in order to see why it won't open multifunction for sure body control let's connect okay let's read the code no fault okay adjust choose the test you on recall service no this is something else okay in here let's see there is no control for the the roof strange i'm going to check everything and i'm gonna update you very soon update time i removed the battery yeah because we are working with the airbag system um, I've checked here under the seat and uh, I found this but yeah it looks bad but uh, it's um, done like this because the plug is missing I've uh, measured everything and everything uh, has a closed circuit so we don't have any kind of problem in here and I think um, this driver squib means the clock spring I'm not really sure but that's the only uh, that's the only um, part remain yeah because this airbag should have two connectors uh, first circuit and second circuit and for sure we have a problem in here now we are going to remove the airbag to see what we have in here and before I start messing with the hydraulic for the top I want to try to fix the airbag light because maybe that's um, the first problem that it won't let the top to go down yeah and in here we have fluid in the reservoir enough I think yeah and in here everything seems to be just like new yeah we have two relays in here um, yeah this is uh, a plug that I've took out yeah it was installed properly in here we cannot fix just measure the relay yeah and like I said fluid we have enough but we are going to try um, to leave everything as is and we are going to work in here after we are 
done with the airbag system. Yeah, so let's remove the airbag to see what we find in there. Airbag removed. We have the airbag in here. In order to remove the airbag, it's quite simple. You need a flathead screwdriver. On this steering wheel, you will have only one hole. Put the screwdriver in there. Just a second. See that? See my screwdriver in there. And just press. Yeah, that's about it. But we have a bigger problem than we thought because these cables cannot be replaced or repaired. A replace can, can be but cannot be repaired. And the circuit one, this is the circuit one and we already found the problem. Just a second to put the focus. See this crack in here? And this crack goes all the way till the other side. Oh, I'm out of range. Yeah, and in there is our broken cable. So, we need to replace the clock spring for that. That's a bummer. We have to put everything back together and when we have a new clock spring we are going to replace everything. So till then we cannot do anything in here. And for now the Peugeot must remain in here because we have to wait for the clock spring yeah? and after that we have to check um, why the roof doesn't go down. And yeah, pretty much that's about it. Oh yeah, let me show you something what we have as a new project car. Yeah, sorry for the mess. Um, I had to take everything out from the garage because I have to make an office in there. Ta-da! And this is our next project car, yeah. Uh, BMW E39, this is 535i or 540i, yeah, as uh, is uh, with the V8 engine. Um, I think the 535i was sold just in Europe because other in other parts of the world this was 540i. Um, I just, uh, just a second to show you what we have in here. And like I said, don't mind the mess, yeah? Ta-da! Check this out, this huge engine, yeah? So anyway, this is the next project car for the next episode. And uh, if you want to see what's wrong with the car, what the plans for this car are, join me on the next episode. If you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, as usual, thumbs down. Until next time, see you later.